Father, as we come before you, Lord God, we come the only way we know how. And Father, that's in the name yes. of yes. Jesus. Yes. yes. And Father, we ask of you, Lord God, that you will forgive us for all things that we have said, things that we have imagined, and things that we have practiced, which is not like you. Yes. And Father, we ask of you that you will apply the blood of Jesus unto our lives, Lord God, that brings about true remission of sins in our lives. Father, we ask of you that you will allow that blood that was sacrificed or that was shed in the outer court, Father, to touch the mercy seat on the inner court. In the holies of holy. Father, let that blood, Lord God, speak for us, Lord God. That when you look upon us, Lord God, in the holies of holy, you see that same blood. Mm -hmm. So, Father, help us to, to walk, Lord God, yes. in the same authority, the yes. same power, as Jesus Christ himself did when he walked this earth. Lord God, help us to conquer those things, Lord God, that try to take control of our mind and our flesh. Lord God, those things that draw us away from you. Yes. Father, help us to walk in the newness of life. Yes. And Father, stop easily being beset, Lord mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. And Father, let, let us conquer that thing that always swings before us to lead us straight that it don't bother us no more. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Father, we ask of you, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Yes, Lord. And the church say, Amen. 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 You may be seated. In case y'all haven't noticed, it's winter. <laughs> That's in, that's, in, that's in case something wrong with your eye. <laughs> your body be feeling. Because I be riding down the street with the heater blowing and feet be frozen. Especially in the summer's I may be frozen. <laughs> like they wet. That's not a complaint. I just always got to pick on Tommy because that's tangled with us. He feels left out, you know. I don't mean no harm now. If you was here Saturday, you know, we have a continuation of Saturday today. And the title of the message that was given, Saturday was a man with a boy's problem. And, a, and nine times out of ten, the majority of the men that you think they got it together have boy problems. Ah, I see some ladies look around and look at the men. Well, let me include you into this, too. Nine times out of ten, when you see a woman that's grown physically, she has a girl problem in her, too. And the only way to fix this problem is to get a knife and to cut mm -hmm. it away. Mm -hmm. You've got to get a knife and you got to do some cutting. Let me prove it to you that you got to take the knife. <coughs> because remember, I tell you, the enemy is an imitator. Mm -hmm. He's an imitator. <laughs> that even in the physical, they take knives now and cut themselves. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Sure. And y'all didn't figure out where that come from yet. Mm. It be trying to cut away your spirit man to cause you to die. Mm. But when you take the spirit or the spiritual sword, which is the word of God, it cuts away the flesh without you damaging yourself. The other physical knife will cause damage to you. Are you with me so far? You are designed 
to coexist. Spirit and flesh, but flesh controlled by the spirit. Mm -hmm. Can I turn it around? Mm -hmm. Why do you think some people, children, control them? Yeah. Because what comes out of them end up controlling them in a negative way. Some women are controlled by what they give birth to that comes out of them. But what comes or what's in you is supposed to control your flesh. But the enemy turn it around to take what you gave birth to physically to control you. Yeah, to take you over. To take you over. Yeah. To get you off a of track. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When, when you see some parents that have children that they gave birth to, but it seems like they are enslaved to the child. That's right. That's true. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. 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 You with me? But watch this. What is birthed in you, which is your spirit man, supposed to control this? Mm. <coughs> yes. And women do get circumcised. I am not trying to be nasty, people on camera. Mm. I am not trying to be nasty, but, you have to but I have to speak Bible. Yeah. Circumcision is for men and women. Oh, right. I bought a knife. That's right. If you don't like the knife, I got a sour bone. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely it's sword. Can I explain it to you? Mm -hmm. Let me show you physically how women be circumcised. Physically. And you've been missing this for years. Physically, circumcised is circumcision of your private parts. Mm -hmm. They say private parts. All right? We're going to keep it rated PG-13. Your private parts, mm -hmm. as my wife would say. Are you with me? Now, let me show you on a woman's perspective how she becomes circumcised. Because circumcision is the revealing of the head. Right. Y'all missed that. In childbirth, mm -hmm. what come out first? Mm -hmm. My dad. Mm -hmm. Usually. From flesh. Mm -hmm. From between flesh. Yes, that's right. You hear me? Mm -hmm. If it don't come out that way, something wrong. Yes. With that circumcision. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Both are painful. Physically and spiritually. Because what God asks you to cut away sometimes hurts. And it hurts for a while. And it hurts so bad that you can't or you won't fight. Because you are afraid that you are damaged what just been cut. You with me? If you ever had a son or somebody in your family that you know that was circumcised, you could walk around and just push them down with one of their finger. And there ain't nothing you could do, that person could do about it. The same way with women, that the doctor tell you, you can't move around for a certain period of days until healing. Right. So if somebody break in your house, let them steal what they want to steal, just say, leave me alone. Right. Are you going to hurt yourself? Mm -hmm. See, I'm, I'm, I'm making this sound funny, but I'm trying to explain it a clean way mm -hmm. without grossing mm -hmm. someone out. That's good. Are you with me so far? We left off in Exodus chapter 4. Oh, y'all was paying attention. Mm -hmm. Exodus chapter 4, y'all help my sister get a bottle. Don't let her sit there without a bottle. Okay. And she won't take a hit away. <laughs> hit her with the word. <laughs> Are you with me so far? I want you to understand. I'm going to explain something. Please, people, please. I'm trying to explain it so you will understand it. I'm not trying to be nasty. 
But how do you not sound nasty in talking about circumcision? Well, there's all adults in here. Yeah. Go ahead. Explain it. Because we old. So we can understand because we old physically doesn't mean we old spiritually. And mm -hmm. some people may be offended. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to explain that I'm not trying to offend nobody. Hold on. But I'm going to say what I got to say. Go ahead. If you like it or not. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Right. Let me explain to you what was going on. When God told Jacob to go into Egypt, he put their foreskin back on. When they was out with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Canaan, their heads were showing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Their productive system mm -hmm. was showing even in the time of famine. Their leadership, their head. The head of every man is Christ. Mm -hmm. Christ was leading them. Mm -hmm. That's right. You with me? So the head was showing as long as they was in Canaan. But when they was told to go back into Egypt, the flesh came back over the head. And the flesh started controlling what was supposed to be something spiritual. Can I show you a different way? God allowed Abraham to go back in a time of famine to the flesh. To cover his head. And in flesh, his wife was taken in the bondage by the flesh. That's true. Yeah. Uh, are you with me yeah. so far? Am, am, am I losing it? But watch this. He didn't let Isaac go back there. Yeah. Because you can't cover him with flesh. Because Isaac was symbolic of Jesus. Jesus. Right. I like to see people when they write. Y'all need me to spell the word? <laughs> he told Isaac, do not go to Egypt. He said, stay right here in Canaan among the Philistines. Mm -hmm. So when God told Israel to go back into Egypt, he allowed them to be covered back with flesh. Mm -hmm. That you couldn't even tell that the Israelites was Hebrews no more because they looked too much like the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. Am I talking too fast? Shut up. Because <laughs> you'd be writing their buckets. <laughs> Watch it on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Mm hmm. Now, watch this, watch this. Let me show you that he put the flesh back on them. He their leader. God. Mm -hmm. He's the head. Mm -hmm. right. That was sticking out of the flesh, that was cut away. Let me show you when it first got cut away. When God told Abraham, leave your family, mm -hmm. your household. That was mm -hmm. the first circumcision. Right. That's good. Because they was idol worshippers. Mm -hmm. Your flesh always leads you to worship something that's contrary to the spirit, man. Your flesh and your spirit war right now, war against each other. Because you have in your mind, boy, in the morning, I'm going to get up and study. But when you turn over in the morning, your flesh be saying, oh, you should lay down by five more hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right now. And when five hours, like Dave said, after you lay down for that short period of time you said you was, it turned into hours, uh, it's yeah. time to jump up here in the floor running. Yep. And you miss your spiritual meal. Yeah, your beginning every day. Mm-hmm. But your intentions was good. Yep. Yes, you know. Are you with me so far? Mm -hmm. the, the Israelites did not look like Hebrews. They looked like Egyptians and they was taught to worship 
like Egyptians, not like Hebrews. They build the cows mm. and all the idols yeah. and stuff. They built it That's by it. making bricks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. He said that Israelites <coughs> looked like Egyptians. Yes. You couldn't tell them apart by their actions. Okay, please don't get offended with what I'm about to say. All right, I'm trying to. I'm gonna bring it up today so you can understand. You ever seen a black guy when he done been around white guys all his life? He said, "What's up, dude? Radio and stuff like that." You hear me? All you see a black guy, a male white guy, trying to act like a black guy. What's up, buddy? Pat. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? Fighting? <laughs> you don't understand? Yes. So in yes. their actions, you couldn't tell them apart. But what's this? Your flesh learned how to survive when it does not have all the material to worship its idol. Mm. But your spirit had learned that yet. Yeah. Let me explain it to you. Even when they took away the straws, Mm -hmm. To make the bricks, they still made the bricks. Yes, yeah. yes. Yes, they did. Kept the quota. Mm -hmm. And the bricks was their idols. Mm -hmm. That those bricks was carried from the Old Testament all the way over to the New Testament and the building of the temple that the, that the disciples even got carried away with it. They said, wow. Mm. Look at the building of the temple, and the Lord said, don't look at that, because mm -hmm. I'm going to tear that down. Yes. They carried the bricks over yeah. into the New Testament. Can I go further? That's good. Can I go further? Mm -hmm. Would you curse in here? Curse? Yeah. Okay, stop yeah. acting like y'all don't know how to curse. Would you curse in here? Someone made me mad. No, oh, okay, watch this, watch this. Let me, okay, let me, let me rephrase that. Nine times out of ten, people will say, I'm not going to curse in here. This is the house of God. God should live in your house at home. Right, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Because watch this. You brought God here, and I hope you taking him okay, home that's with that's you. That's yes. right. So if you won't curse in here, you shouldn't curse in your house. That's because right. God everywhere. Right. Right. Now watch this. You done made this one of your bricks. Uh, <laughs> this place. Yeah. It's one of your bricks. Mm -hmm. Instead of you thinking God lives in you, like the word says. Mm -hmm. And you can't make this brick. Mm -hmm. Only God could. Mm -hmm. yeah. This temple. Okay. Am I making sense? Yes. So we learn how to make bricks because we blind. At an early age. Mm hmm We blind. Ooh, you don't do that in the household of God. <laughs> Let's go down the street and fight. Yeah. God had to fight too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who in it? Okay. <laughs> Are y'all seeing that? You learn, I'm going to say it again, then I'm going to go on. You learn how to make what you worship in hard, difficult times. Yeah, at all costs. You go, I mean, at all, all costs, you just go out to make what's wrong. But when it's time to do what's right in God's eyes, you limit it. You do. I can't limit you. You limit yourself. Are you still with me? Mm -hmm. Y'all still love me? Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking about you. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about me. Mm -hmm. Because we had the skating ring. You know how they have the shoes lined up? Yeah. What's your size? Yeah. <laughs> it says this. In Exodus chapter, and y'all don't mind if I take my time because mm -hmm. I want to explain oh, something. Please do. In, in Exodus chapter 4, 4, Lily. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. Or I'm gonna. Oh my God. 
I want to back up a little bit. It says this. It says this in verse 21. Even though we ain't touched 21, I'm trying to work my way down to 24 is where we started at uh, uh, Saturday. It says, And the Lord said unto Moses, When thou goest to return into Egypt, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thy ministry. Mm -hmm. Hand is the ministry. It said, But I will harden his heart that he shall not let the people go. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, Israel is my son. Not Jacob. Jacob went in. You hear me? Did he? It said Jacob went in. But watch this. Only his flesh led him in. But his name was Israel. See how your flesh take control of your spirit, man, yes. sometimes? And the first day they say, I thought you was a Christian. Mm. Huh. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Because you allow your flesh to take control. It says this. It says, Israel is my son. Watch this. Even before Jacob was born. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's kind of strange because Jacob was... Alive before Israel. Mm -hmm. Before Jacob's name was changed to Israel, Jacob existed. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Only in your eyes. But not in your eyes. Mm -hmm. can, can I show it to you a different way? The plan of having an egg <laughs> is to have a chicken. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you got an egg. Mm -hmm. But the plan is having the chicken that's on the inside of the egg. The egg is Jacob. The chicken is on the inside. So it takes time for the chicken to come out to outgrow the egg. The egg is only this big. But the chicken grows to about this big. It's a shame that you still let the egg control the chicken. See how small mm -hmm. the egg is? Yeah. That's how small your flesh is over your spirit man. Mm -hmm. And your egg is still controlling your big self. Mm -hmm. And to you, and to you that has not noticed since you came in, the sign is up. I, I did. did. It nice. looks so good. Nice. Nice. Very nice. And now we have to put one on the door so every time they come pay the insurance, they'll know we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you with me so far? Yes. I'm, I'm taking my time so, and I'm not trying to bore you. Watch this. It says this. It says this in verse 23. And I said unto thee, let my son go, that he may serve. See the word serve right there? It means a bound, a bound servant. A bound servant is this. Let me have you understand the word bound servant, meaning you don't did your time. You're free to go. Yeah. But I love my master that I want to <coughs> stay with you permanently. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be bound servants of the Lord. The Lord even called us his bound servants. Yes. You with me? It's just us that keep running away after we say we want to stay. That's right. That's true. How you say you want to stay, but you keep running away? Yeah, bound or bond? Bond. I'm, 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 I'm pronouncing it. It's B-O-N-D. Oh. Bound. Bond. You know I, I got bond. problems talking. Bond. Bond. You know exactly bond. what I'm saying, huh? Bond. Okay, yeah. say it. Yeah. Say it again, Lily. Bond. One more yeah. time, Lily. Bond. Nah, bond. <laughs> Not bond. Nah, this not. Now, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. It says, it says, and if thou refuse to let him go, 
Behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. Stop for a moment. You see what God said to Pharaoh? Now this, yeah. In verse 23. Yeah. You see what God said uh, to Moses to tell Pharaoh? Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. God wasn't talking to Pharaoh. He wasn't talking to Moses, he wasn't talking to Moses about Pharaoh. No. Right. He was talking to Moses about you. Because if you don't let God firstborn son go free, he going to kill your firstborn. Mm. He going to kill your firstborn. <coughs> I don't know why I keep getting to <coughs> You ain't let God firstborn go yet. I don't know why I can't get here. You ain't let God first born go yet. Yeah. Whoa. You ain't let him go. Mm -hmm. And watch this. He gave you the power to let it go. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Want me to show you the power? I can show you the power. It's in the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To be set free, this is all you got to keep speaking. To all God told Moses to do is watch this. Say this. You with me? Now watch this. Watch this. If you say this, watch this. The Holy Ghost will confirm the word. That's right. Mm -hmm. With signs, with wonders, and with diverse miracles. That's why Moses did miracles. And he's trying to do them for you. Because your government system named Pharaoh sitting right here on your life. Mm -hmm. And this how you rule your life by what you see. Yeah. Instead of letting God firstborn go. Mm -hmm. You yeah. keeping him caged. And you teaching him slavery stuff. You oh. teaching him. Nobody else mm -hmm. teaching him that. You are. Mm -hmm. And you saying, I wonder why this is happening to me. Y'all say, let my firstborn go. Yeah. It's, it's this. It's your firstborn against God's firstborn. Mm -hmm. And want me to back it up? Want me to back it up? Mm -hmm. Watch this. He said, the drawer out. Mm -hmm. This will draw that firstborn out of you. The word will. Mm -hmm. You with me? Now watch this. Watch this. The law was given. The law. I know why the law was given this to let me know that I was sinning. That's what the Bible said. Am I right? The law was given for your flesh. Right. The law is for your flesh. Right. And watch this. With the law, the flesh die. But grace and mercy is given for your inner man, your spirit. And that, con that consists of life. For the Bible said, in him was light. And the light was the life of, and the life was the light of all men. You with me? And Jesus was light, all life. And Moses was, you got to die. <clears throat> you got to die. And this is still in operation in your life now. Mm -hmm. Right now. If you think I'm joking, why before you got the knowledge of the spirit and the grace of God, you was walking around trying to fulfill the law? Mm -hmm. yeah. On the outside. Yeah. Yeah. You was trying to yeah. not be judged and condemned on the, on the outside, outside because you were trying to yeah. act yeah. like the law. Right. When it's by grace and mercy. Mm -hmm. right. Because you can't really see who you are yet. No. Mm -hmm. Not the real you. You never saw you. No. When Esau came forth, Jacob was still in the womb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Esau was out there. <laughs> Jacob was still in the womb. Am I right? That's why the Bible says this. 
Oh, you should have been asking yourself, how can the Bible say this in Romans? For the creation grown and manifest, for the manifestation of the sons of God. Here I am. Am I right? You ain't see the real you there. That's why John couldn't notice Jesus, his first cousin, because he ain't see the spirit on him yet. Go ahead. Is that why it says in the Bible, a woman shall encompass the man? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's talking about? I don't know. No? I don't know. He doesn't know everything yet. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. This. I know what's the scripture, but I need to look at it. So I don't want to give no, mm -hmm. just an answer off the top of my head. I'm not going to do that. Are you with me so far? Yep. Now watch this. Out of all what we just read, look at what takes place. In verse 24. 24. It came to pass. And it came to pass that as Moses started going on the journey that God sent him on, which was the same journey that God sent Jesus on. You with me? Because Moses was in the way. Am I right? Jesus said, I am the way. <laughs> Are you with me? And if you look at the Bible, it always put Jesus up against Moses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says Moses was faithful in his house. It says Jesus was faithful even though he owned the house. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this. It says this. But the only thing about Jesus was this. He wasn't trying to fit in. Right. Moses fit in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me explain that to you. Mm -hmm. That's why the children of Israel was in bondage, because they were trying to fit in mm -hmm. with the Egyptians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy. And they fit in. And watch this. Somebody got to die to yeah. get out. Mm -hmm. to you can't come out with somebody dying. Yeah. Your flesh, Egyptian firstborn son, which gotta is your, your first self that was born, got to die, watch this, to the control of you. That you, watch this, that circumcision could take place. The head came out. But the flesh was cut off and died in yeah. Egypt. Y'all missing this. The firstborn son that died in Egypt was the flesh yes. that covered the head. In order for Israel to come out, Israel, that's the spirit man, to come out, watch this, the firstborn son had to die so the second son or the head could come out. Are y'all getting this? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus knew he didn't fail. Getting some of that stuff here. Didn't fit in at all. Oh. And watch this. So if Jesus didn't fit in, you stop trying to fit in. Because people talking about you. You're not supposed to fit in. The Bible says this. You are in the world, but you're not of the world. You are not supposed to fit in. It's like this. It's like this. If you ain't never been to jail, if you ever go, yeah, no, that's your first time. No, you're going to be crying and everything. You're going to be scared. You're going to be shaking and everything. You're right. You're right. You don't fit in. Everything everywhere is trying to get used to. You don't know. Are you seeing this? Now, watch this. Watch this. Moses was prepared to go in. When Moses came out, I heard you, Lord. He said, you're going to pay. So I got to back up. When Moses was in Egypt, Moses knew he was the deliverer. That's true. That's why he killed the man and buried him in the sand. He knew it. His inner man knew he was the deliverer. 
but he tried to do it in his outer man. He killed the man physically instead of letting the Spirit of God do it. Moses knew he was the deliverer. Right, his own spirit. Now, now, let me shock you. Let me shock you. Let me shock you. Moses' mama didn't even name him. Sarah's daughter did. Right. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? So Moses was getting a taste of his authority, <laughs> but only in the flesh. Mm. He, he went straight from the ark to the palace. He never tasted slavery. Can I go further? Sometimes you could think you are drawn out of something, but you're drawn into a little bit of the lot that you came out of. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> Sometimes you could think that you're drawn out of Egypt and be drawn into a little bit of Egypt, yeah. but you will think you're free. Let me explain that to you. Because Jethro at one time was Pharaoh's counselor. <clears throat> that when Moses came out, Jethro acknowledged him as an Egyptian. He's, that his daughter said, an Egyptian delivered us. And he said, why didn't you bring him here? A yes. Because Jethro was one of a uh, 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 Pharaoh's counselor in time past. Jethro f uh, fled from Pharaoh because of the counseling that he gave Pharaoh about the children of Israel. He said, leave them alone. And Pharaoh didn't like that. Am I boring y'all? So, in with the flesh, you have confusion. You know your oh, you, yeah. you about to, oh, yeah. in your flesh, you are so confused. It's, it's a mess. Yeah. In your flesh. Yeah. I like him today. But I'm going to like him tomorrow. And next week, I love the, 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 the you. Just for an hour. But I love you again. You know I ain't never stopped loving you. That's confusion. Mm -hmm. I'm using that as an example because I don't want to touch your personal stuff. Right. You are so confused in your flesh that you, okay, I heard you, Lord. You say, I ain't going to do this no more. Ah, and you do it again. Yeah. And again. Yeah. And again. Yeah. Because just keep lying to you. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. They keep lying to you. Oh. Now, let me tell you why I said confusion. Moses left Egypt, which Egypt is symbolic of the world system, mm -hmm. which is nothing but confusion, mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, controlled by the spirit of confusion, which is Satan. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, he ran to, supposed to be a priest. Yeah. But he was the priest of confusion. <laughs> it said Jethro was the priest of Midian. Midian means confusion, argue, fussing, and fighting. He sure does. That's what it means. It means you, you, you ever seen somebody arguing about the word of God? No, God words. You got they're fighting about worship. I'm talking about physical fighting. Yeah. Moses ran from making bricks mm. to a little bit of mm. confusion. Really in your face? Yeah, and he was, he was yeah. the prince of uh, the priest. Yeah. Midianite priest. Midianite. It's Exodus 3 1. What is it, Exodus, Exodus 3 1. Thank you. He was a priest of confusion, meaning they kept a lot of mess going on in their worship. <laughs> no, you can't tell me Jesus ain't walked on the water. How can a man walk on the water? You done bump your head. No, Jesus didn't walk on the water. Who the say about my mama again? This is how they was worshiping. 
Confusion. I'm using that for an example. Are you with me? So he ran out of a lot to live in. Can I put it another way? You ever seen a woman that keep choosing a man that keep beating him up? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Go to a different one that beat you up. You want to know why? Because he don't look like he'll beat you up at first. But it's your spirit connecting with that spirit of, oh, he got the spirit of whoop my behind. No, that's for real. On the inside of, and they don't be understanding what, and your spirit be drawn to them. Okay, let me put it another way. They don't way. know another way. Let me put it another way. If you have sexual relationship with someone, everybody you lay down with yes. or that person was laid right. down with, those spirits connect with you. That's yes, right. they do. Yes. And you start be afflicting with that person what they've been through. That's right. And you be like, where in the world? I ain't yes. never did this. Because yeah. you made that connection. That's right. Yes. Yes. You yep. became one with them. You became one. Yeah. So what's tormenting or and afflicting them gonna start tormenting and afflicting you. That's right. That's right. Are you with me so far? Yes. It says this. It says, because he fit in with the flesh. Mm -hmm. You with me? Mm -hmm. With tradition systems. Right. You ever seen some? You ever heard? Oh, I heard too, Lord. You ever heard somebody said this? And I, I'm I'm just using this for example. I hate going to that church because they try to control you. Mm -hmm. You ever? Yeah. They come out for a week and go right back to that same church because they like to yes, be controlled. Yes, they do. Yeah. 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 Over. I know we yeah. We. How, how many times we not seen that? I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah. You with me? Yeah. Many, many, many. When 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 they when they turn away from the truth, they go back to controlling your flesh. Mm -hmm. What in the world alone dressed down to your ankles got to do with being saved? Nothing. 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 When Mary the Madeline was a prostitute. That's right. It's a heart. Mm -hmm. Am I making sense? Yeah. So they go back to what they used to be. Mm -hmm. Even though Moses was circumcised the eighth day in Egypt, he never was taught circumcision. Mm -hmm. Because he was raised in Powerful Pharaoh's right. mm -hmm. palace. Mm -hmm. Powerful point. Yeah, it is. His parents circumcised him because they, they hid him for three months. He was circumcised the eighth day, according to Abraham. And that's how they knew him. Not the law, Abraham. That was that covenant. Yeah. <clears throat> now what's here? After his circumcision, exit, stays left. He left the Hebrews. Yeah. <laughs> so he had no more dealing with their customs. He's, he's now was trained in idol worship in the palace, in the high place. That everybody has to bow and worship him, including his own people. Mm. He was getting a foretaste, but in the wrong area. Mm. They was looking at his flesh, and they was hating. Watch this. Israel was hating Moses' flesh. Yeah. No matter how much his flesh tried to deliver them they persecuted his flesh and yeah. said, are you going to kill me like you did yeah, the Egyptians? He, did, he brought fear. Yeah. You with me? Mm -hmm. So they, they, they persecuted his flesh, not knowing that it was a spirit man in Moses. Mm -hmm. Because Moses looked like more of okay. Pharaoh's people. Yeah. That's higher than just an Egyptian. That's mm -hmm. right. That's wow. right. So when Moses ran, Moses never had training on circumcision. So now Moses, being on the Lord's side, after having that encounter on the backside, Moses on the Lord's side, he's taking his uncircumcised son back into that mess because he wasn't taught how to circumcise, and that put him in jeopardy with God. 
So it says in verse 24, And it came to pass by the way in the end that the Lord met him and this all sought to kill him. Do you want to know why? Because he failed to do what he was supposed to be trained in when he was younger. Here's the good part about it. It wasn't too late. What you missed as a child is not too late now. Yeah. That, that's the good part about it. Yes, most certainly. But God had a hold of him. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> Can I show it to you in God's word? <clears throat> if you look at uh, uh, First Corinth, I mean Second Corinthians, chapter three, it's kind of cool in here, ain't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So turn on the TV. Okay. Who's turning it down? I don't know. In Second Corinthians, I said three. Yeah. That's what I said, 2 Corinthians 3. Yeah. Did I say 2 Corinthians 3? Yeah. Did I say 2 Corinthians 3? Can you say 2 Corinthians 3? <laughs> okay. Go figure. We're going to have a confusion in a minute. So, 1 Corinthians 4. Chapter 9. I said 2 Corinthians 3. How about 9 verse? 9 verse. Uh -huh. Sorry. Right. Second Corinthians. Chapter 3, 9 verse. Oh, right. We're talking about, I have to show you what Moses was given to yes. go back into Egypt with. Yeah. Because when Moses was going back into Egypt, Moses ain't had no dealings with the spiritual people. Let me explain that to you. He ain't had no judgment for them. He only had judgment for the flesh. Yeah. Right. Not for your spirit newborn mm -hmm. again self. Because your newborn spirit self is under the blood. Yes. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. So um, when he sees the blood, the dead angel that kills the flesh will pass over you. Am I breaking it down good enough? And the words that Moses was speaking, that's why miracles happen. Because with the ministry of condemnation, it brings, watch this, judgment on your flesh. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says this, verse 9. For if the ministry of condemnation be glory, much more do the ministry of righteousness exceed in glory. For even that which was May glorious had no glory in disrespect. By reason of the glory that excelleth. Verse 11. For if that which is done away with. That's why the New, Tes the, the New Testament says. Stop using the law to condemn yeah. somebody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or it says this way. Judge ye not. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's saying stop using the law. And watch this. People on the outside that operate under the spirit is still using the law to condemn people. Right? Yeah. Yes, that's true. Still today. No matter how much you done came out, they still keep going back to be judged by the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. Are you with me so far? Yeah. <clears throat> Now, <clears throat> your flesh profit you nothing. Let me back it up scripture. Because, like I said earlier, you have a constant battle within yourself. Mm -hmm. In Romans chapter 8. Don't take my word and read it for yourself. <clears throat> In Romans chapter 8. You there? Verse 5, let's start at 5. It's talking about you as one, but it's separating both of you as one person. It says this, For they that are after the flesh 
do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Watch this. For the carnal, for to be carnally minded is death. If you are controlled by your flesh, the death angel is coming for you. That's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. what verses where you in? Five and six. That's what they're saying. If you did not come, or if you're not letting that man on the inside of you come out, yeah. you, the death angel is coming for you. Because the only thing that will protect you from that is the blood of Jesus. And after the blood and the death angel pass over, circumcision takes place. Yeah. Circumcision takes place. Because when a woman gives birth, blood and all that stuff come out first. Mm -hmm. right. With the pushing of the head. Mm -hmm. With circumcision of a man, blood and water and stuff come out too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before the head come out. And the, the reason why it's talking about a head is talking about a different mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Than your mind. Right. That's right. That's why it says, let that mind that was in Christ Jesus be yes. in us. That it could be productive. Mm -hmm. You bring forth fruit, ladies, that way, what I'm talking about. Men bring forth fruit that way, what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And that are that is an example for the church right. and for Christ. Right. Because watch this. The church pregnant, mm -hmm. but he never touched the bride yet. <laughs> like Joseph, like Mary was yeah. pregnant, yes. and Joseph, Joseph never touched, touched her. her. Yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. That's why Revelation, she gave birth in verse 12. I mean, chapter 12. Before the marriage of the Lamb take place. Before, yeah. because as Mary, the mother of Jesus, looked like a, 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 like she committed adultery, the church got to look like they committed adultery too. But it's a spiritual birth. Are you with me so far? So it says, so, to be commonly minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal Mind is enmity of your spirit, man, or God. Are you with me so far? Let me show you one more. Because the Bible says, out of the mouth of two or more. Yeah. Am I right? True. So, yeah. let's look at Luke chapter, uh, what did I say? Luke chapter 23. This really going to mess you up. And if you're sleepy and yawning and all that kind of stuff, you ain't going to get this. <laughs> Luke chapter 23. I'm going to say it again. Luke chapter 23. To be spiritual, you're an Israelite. You with me? It, it, let's go with me symbolically. Or you're a Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Who was king of the Jews? He better not say Jesus, which he was. But before Jesus came on the scene, Herod was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. You with me? That's what the flesh is. No, well, well, hold on, hold on. But his fleshly part was at enmity with him. Yeah. And his fleshly part was Pilate. Mm. Mm -hmm. But when the head came forth, they made peace. Oh. Yeah. 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 When they brought the head, Jesus there, mm -hmm. they became friend and coexist. Co how you say that? Co 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 together. Yeah, but they call it. But Jesus. watch this. Watch this. The flesh said this. I find no fault yeah. Yeah. with him. Hmm. That's a circumcision. Let's read it. Y'all want to read it and see it for you? Read it for yourself. That's Luke chapter 23. Let's start at verse 11 down to 14. 
It says this. <clears throat> I could go. It reads like this. And Herod, that's the king of the Jews. You know what I mean? Jews are Israelites. Am I right? It says, Herod with his men of war set him at naught and marked him. Watch, watch this, watch this. They dressed him up to take him to the flesh. To the what? To the flesh. The mm -hmm. they, But they had to dress him first. Mm -hmm. To take him to the flesh. Oh. They put him in apparels. Kingly apparels. In other words, Pharaoh was called, I mean, uh, Herod was calling himself, mocking, mocking him, him, but he was pass, actually passing the baton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. In a relay race, yeah. he actually was passing the baton. Wow. You know what I mean? And never knew it. And never even knew it. Wow. It says, Herod, with his men of war, set him at naught, and marked him, and arrayed him in, how do you say it, glorious, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, robe, and, set, and sent him to Pilate. And the same day, and the same day when Jesus, the word, Moses, the word, what well, I said, wow. got to the flesh part, Herod was made, Herod and Pilate was made friends together. Watch this. I can live in this flesh, but this flesh ain't got to control me. Because watch this. The word in the mist. The head. It says this. For before they were at enmity between each other. But when the word come into it, the flesh know he got to bow down. And my spirit, man, that you can't even see, rule me. Watch this. So when somebody start cussing me out, they look at me, watch this. They flesh expect to connect with my flesh to get my flesh to start acting like their flesh. But I don't act like them. And watch this. It confuses them. And for a while, they stay confused for a while. And watch this. After they watch you for a while, then you all two become friends too. Yeah. <laughs> because they can't get to you. Mm -hmm. And they bring up that day and say, you know, I apologize when I cut you out that day. Mm -hmm. Because I, I was angry this day. And I'm, and I'm impressed that you didn't go the way I thought you was going to go. They always bring that up. Mm -hmm. So I ask you this, have you ever <clears throat> let your firstborn go? Or has God hardened yeah, uh, your, yeah. your flesh heart that you refuse to let your firstborn son mm -hmm. of God go? Mm -hmm. You want to know why? Because he didn't receive this as a child. Yeah. That's why I say you blessed us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you are blessed. Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't receive yeah. nothing like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't receive yeah. this. Oh, my. She's so blessed. You with me? My, my. We need to learn to let God's firstborn go. He's sending the word yeah. into our Egypt. <clears throat> And he's only talking to the ruler of our Egypt. Well, that's, huh? Yeah. Well, what's what's this? What's it? That's your fleshly mind. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. your Pharaoh. God is speaking to your fleshly mind. Watch this. Watch this. And watch this. He said, I'm going to keep pardoning. So he could keep showing signs and wonders. That's why you heard one day and you pray and you get healed. You see a sign and a wonder. Yeah. And it makes you believe that God is God even the more. Oh, something totally different. My child in an accident. God hear your child. Mm -hmm. You hear something, you see a sign and wonder. Mm -hmm. And you start seeing God is wow. more God. More just Then he hardened your heart in yeah. something totally different. Yeah. But he actually calling you out. Yeah. Right. 
And a lot of us won't come out without the signs and wonders. Because in the New Testament, they kept saying, what signs you going to show us today? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. That's right. Let's go back to uh, uh, Exodus. Because we walk around here as grown men with little boy problems. Women that think you're grown will live here in problems. Watch this. Soon as you get 56, 64, women, you be trying to get their youth back. With that little girl, how you used to be. Yeah. And you always say, see how pretty I was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you, you women? But watch this. Watch this. The older you get in God, that beauty is not to be compared to what yes. you're trying to show me. Yes. That's right. True. That's right. You're showing me your flesh, but show me that beauty, that inner beauty. Yeah. Right. And part of your inner beauty is this, men. Not to even open your mouth when something comes your way. Because you're going to be tested. And the Bible says he opened not his mouth. And let's, let's change it. And he didn't say a mumbling word. Yeah. And we mumble a lot about our situations. Yeah. It's called about what's not happening the way you want it to happen. It's called murmuring. It's called murmuring. And it says he didn't murmur. But we say we're like him. And you talking about some murmuring people? Yeah. Some of us murmur so much, I don't know. What you say? He just burping the murmuring all over the place. Are you all getting this? <clears throat> now watch this, watch this, watch this. It's the church responsibility to circumcise. Y'all keep thinking it's the leaders. It's the church responsibility. Because it never said Moses circumcised his son. It said the church did. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's powerful. Yeah. It said the church did. You want to know why Moses couldn't do it? He wasn't told that as a child and growing up. But watch this. You've been here long enough to know how to circumcise a person. Circumcision, to circumcise someone, it takes patience. Mm -hmm. Soon as we bring somebody to church, we think tomorrow they're supposed to be right where you at. No, that ain't circumcision. Next week, we think they're supposed to be where we at. Well, you know where they at. Yeah, they're hurting. Yeah, real bad, too. They can't fight like you know how to fight. You're used to getting punched. Okay, I tried to be a boxer one time. <laughs> that guy hit me so hard. <laughs> yeah, they can hit. I mean, that guy hit me so hard. You hear me? I took my own gloves off. I mean, that. I'm. I'm not. I can't even explain how I felt. And everybody saw that one punch. Boom! Everything was fuzzy. You hear me? I can see the people, but I don't hear a sound. And I'm standing there and I'm, even though I'm like this, I'm saying, Lord, don't let him hit me again. <laughs> uh, Lord. It says here that the church took a sharp rock, and that mm -hmm. sharp rock is the word that Moses had. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the word that I have, I'm giving it to you mm -hmm. to circumcise people. Okay. And you're supposed to share with the people mm -hmm. what God has shared with me that I'm passing now. Mm -hmm. He took a sharp stone, and this stone is the stone which the builders rejected. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that'll cut away your flesh, mm -hmm. that'll get your flesh in control. Mm. 
And watch this. That word took right there, it means she seized. She rushed upon it suddenly. Meaning you can't play with your flesh. Mm. That's what it means. And Sephora, how you Sephora? Sephora. Sephora. Yeah, Sephora. meaning a little bird as in hopping around and dancing. Meaning, watch this. A lot of people think that problem after problems supposed to just fall off like this. Let me exactly show you. Let me show you exactly how it happened. You might conquer this problem, but when the next one comes, you might not conquer that right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that backs up for a while, and a new one come, and you conquer that, and you conquer the next one, and then when you didn't conquer, come back, to, it come back up. What did you say Zephora means? It Zephora. means the little bird, as in hopping around or dancing. Meaning, watch this, watch this. The church should be able to be equipped enough to hop around to the different problems mm -hmm. in your life. <clears throat> The different problems. Because certain things I don't talk to you about, you still dealing with right now. You want to know how? Because you refuse to deal with it. You refuse to deal with it. So you still stuck. And watch it. Watch this. It's going to come up again. Yep. And so since I've seen what I told you the last time didn't work, I'm not going to use that same method on you again. It's going to get tougher. Mm -hmm. I might have bailed you out the first time, but the second time I ain't bailing you out no more because you ain't getting it. For your benefit. For your benefit. It's not that I don't love you. You know how you teach a child to walk you holding their hand first time. Come on, mama gets it, mama gets it now, right? Then after that, you got to let that child go and fall a couple of times. Then they actually learn to walk. Mm -hmm. That's what we designed to do with the members here. From the pain they felt in falling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They and get they tired of feeling that pain again that they learn to walk. Mm -hmm. So we hop round to different situations in your life to try to bring you out, yeah. circumcise you. And once this, every time you call and I bring out the sharp rock or the knife, you don't want to hear. Yeah. So don't call me then. Yeah. Or if you call a second time. Yeah, don't, don't, don't call first. me because I'm going to keep my sharp rock or my sharp knife. Because my job is to help you even if it hurts you. I love you that I'll hurt your feelings. And that'll save you. That'll save me too. Because if I don't circumcise you, he going to kill me. He was going to kill Moses. That's right. And I don't want God to get a hold of me because I ain't circumcised you. Right. That's how serious he is about it. Yeah. Right. I'm going to circumcise you even if I got to run you down trip you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to be kicking and screaming. Don't frighten the wicked. You, you, you understand me? Yeah. Because watch this. Watch this. Moses' oldest son wasn't circumcised. And God, Moses was supposed to know. He wasn't taught it. How he supposed to know? God didn't have no mercy on that. God didn't have no mercy on that. It's our responsibility to bring forth the new person in you out. Yeah. And a lot of church leaders are really only geared to keep people <clears throat> busy rather than growing them up. Yeah. yeah. Now, now watch this. Here's the bad part about it. Here's the bad part about it. She connected with Moses to get in touch. Remember we were saying if you have a relationship with a person, you connect with the spirit that they're under? Yeah. Moses was an Israelite. When she connected with Moses, and Moses knew his wife. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Moses knew his wife. You hear me? Mm -hmm. And she conceived and bore four. Watch this. Moses had a encounter with the Lord. Mm -hmm. What Moses was supposed to have done, he never taught some, 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 he never taught her that. But the Spirit did. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she yes. circumcised him. Yes. And watch this. She mm -hmm. was never born an Israelite. No, she, wasn't. No. 
She was born in confusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this makes a way. And the word, and the reason why it says this, you see this, it says, and she cut off. Mm -hmm. The word cut off there means to covenant. Mm. When you circumcise, yeah. you covenant with God. Mm -hmm. We're out of circumcision or the shedding of blood, yeah. there's no covenant. Mm -hmm. Spiritually, we speak about circumcision with women. Physically, circumcision can take place with women because the man is the head. Mm -hmm. And it can't break the chain of command of God. The head of every man is Christ. Christ. The head of Christ is God. Yes. The head of the woman is the man. Mm -hmm. Watch this. It's my responsibility to teach her what I know. So if I fall, she can come with me. Because mm -hmm. she saved Moses. Right. Yes, she did. Yeah. Yes, she did. He had two hard situations. One with God and one with her. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, total chaos oh, in this house. Yeah. Now, now, watch this. Watch yeah. this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Now, I'm going to say something that's going to really make it um, crazy. Watch this. It says, in that verse, it says, the death angel showed up. And tried to kill Moses. Don't you say that? In which verse? In, in, in verse what verse we just read? In verse 20, 24. 24. It said the death angel showed up and tried to kill Moses. Yeah. Yeah. Verse 24. I can back it up scripture. That's what verse 24 says. Yeah. I can back it up scripture. Yeah. God said in Egypt, when the death angel passed over, he said, when I pass over and I see the blood, I will pass over you. Meaning I won't kill your firstborn. Mm -hmm. God said, when I uh, yeah. pass over mm -hmm. and if I see the blood, I'll pass over you mm -hmm. and I won't kill your firstborn in them. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. That's what God said. Yeah. So watch this. That same spirit that going to pass through Egypt to kill the Egyptians Firstborn yeah. passed over Moses first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because no blood was shed upon his firstborn, it put his firstborn in the category of the Egyptians firstborn. Yes. Yeah. And the Egyptians firstborn, because no blood was shed, right. got to die. Yep. But it was Moses' father. You want to know why? Because Moses never told the church, which is who? Yeah. Like he told the Egyptians in Egypt. Mm -hmm. He told them. Yes, he did. In Egypt, you got to put blood yes. for yeah. them to pass over. But he never told yeah. his wife that. So no blood was uh, there. So he met Moses because Moses fit in. You with me? Sometimes we won't do things because it's a painful situation. Circumcision is a painful situation. To be a grown man or a child, because my son, when he was circumcised, his fold up so big. Yeah. Because the little touch wrong. Yeah. As he run and fall, it swells up. Right. And it's painful. So Moses said in not to do it. Oh. Sometimes you could be on the mission for God and never covenant with him first. Mm. You ever heard somebody say, I did this for the Lord? Mm. I always tell them if the Lord didn't tell you to do it, you did it.